The Lexington Fayette County Health Department is again warning people about a cough that you don't want to get. A, a case of whooping cough has been diagnosed at Frederick Douglass High School. Claire Kopsky spent the morning learning more and brings us tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 5. The cough got its name from the sound it makes, whooping cough. A lot of people think, well, that, that name doesn't sound frightening. And all you need to do is go on Google and check out some of the images and the sounds, particularly of babies, because our babies, our older population, and pregnant women are the people who are most at risk, and they're the ones who can have the serious complications. It's not uncommon for people with whooping cough to cough so violently that they break ribs. That's not something that happens with your typical winter illness. The illness was confirmed at Frederick Douglass High School again in the last week. That's the second case at the high school this fall and the fourth case in the Fayette County School District just this school year. It's something that will spread in the winter as people are indoors. There's the shared close contact. It's spread through coughing and sneezing and those droplets into the air. So you want to make sure you're not only getting the vaccine, but you're covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze and washing your hands frequently. The health department urges everyone to make sure they're vaccinated. And if you've been exposed, talk to your doctor about preventative antibiotics. And it's better to be safe than sorry on this one because it is something that can wipe you out throughout the entire month. It's not something you want. It's not something you wish on anyone, especially not pregnant women and children. They're the ones the health department says are most at risk. We're in the heart of the school year. You're looking at people who are involved in extracurricular activities. So kids are in band and theater and sports and they're traveling all across the state so that people really need to make sure that they are taking the steps because this shouldn't just be this isn't something that would just be limited to Lexington. All it takes is just a couple of cases to see it spread far and wide. So make sure you're up to date on those vaccines in Lexington. Claire Kofsky, LEX 18 News.